So I thought I would do some little mini movies, sort of virtual garden tours, because we didn't have our open day uh, after Memorial Day this year because of the COVID-19 crisis. So I'm gonna do little mini movies of my yard so you can get a little idea of what's going on. And today I'm filming my Tratus cantia, or smooth spiderwort, Tratus cantia ohioensis. Um, what you're seeing here actually are probably almost all cultivars of that plant that have self-sown themselves in the crack between my house and my driveway. So I had gotten some cultivars that had different colors, white, kind of raspberry, fuchsia, um, and I've been trying to get rid of my cultivars and my exotic plants more and more to provide more habitat uh, and forage for native insects and, and birds. Um, but I can't really do anything about this. And I don't really want to at this point. I'm not gonna put anything else in here. It really shouldn't even be here, but I just love these plants. And they're called spiderwort because of the very fine feathery filaments at the center of the flower. We're gonna get some wind here. It's gonna make it harder to see. But the fine feathery filaments right in here, that's where the name comes from. It doesn't attract spiders. It doesn't provide any particular habitat for spiders. Uh, I personally love spiders and I rescue them in my house and put them outside because the cats think they're wonderful toys. Uh, spiders are really important and if we didn't have spiders, we would be overrun with a lot of insects that we don't particularly like. Uh, this area is actually in decline. It's probably had its peak yesterday. Um, and uh, so I wanted to make sure to get a picture, uh, a video of it today because it, there's nowhere else in the yard that you see this degree of variety uh, for this plant. And coming around here, this is the species in flower. Um, I believe it's the species. Um, and there's a honeybee visiting now. This is really important because you see the bee on there and the bee is collecting pollen. Spiderwort does not produce any nectar. So you're not gonna see butterflies and moths on it. You're only going to see bees. Bees are collecting the pollen to make bee bread for their babies. When, they lay an, when the queen lays an egg in a chamber, they put a little package of bee bread so that the larva has something to feed on as it goes through its metamorphosis to um, pupa and then to a mature bee. And you'll notice also, if you're paying attention uh, through the day, that sometimes the bees will hover and not land. They don't double dip. So this, this honeybee is doing a great job. It's here early this morning, collecting pollen. Mo these flowers only last a day, so it's like the early bird getting the worm here. And she's hitting all these flowers that are just freshly opened and making, making hay while the sun shines. So we'll do another video tomorrow. Have a great day. Try to keep cool. Hopefully rain is on the way.